custom shape, add another custom shape and turn it into a smart object. And also quickly how to edit that smart object. Now, you can obviously just come over here and I'm just gonna select custom shape. Now, it depends on your toolbar, customization, might be a different position. Now, these are diamond designs from the Graphic Extras website and I'm using the shape option, they're both black there. So just add that design and then hold that down and drag that across there. So now what I've got is two layers, two layers. Now, of course you can just keep them separate. You don't have to combine them, but one good thing about the smart objects is that you can apply effects and maybe recolor and all that sort of thing, combine them. And not only that, it's editable at a later point. Now, just gonna select that and select that one, or you just go over here and just select those, and then just go to a layer and smart objects and convert to smart object. So it's now converted into smart object and you can apply like I say effects. So I'm just gonna quickly go maybe add, maybe a layer effect, layer style, bevel and the boss. Let's quickly change that and that. And once you've done that, of course what you see with that, you've got the bevel and the boss. And of course, if you had filters, you would see those there as well, as well as adjustments. Now, say you want to edit that design, maybe you want it in a different position. What you can do, just go over here and just quickly click that and you'll see what you've got this design here. So resize that. I move that around there. Click OK and maybe move that. Now you maybe want to recolor this design straight away. So what you can do, just quickly go over to one of these tools or the custom shape tool itself and then just change the color. So I'm gonna go for say red there. Close it by just this, it's a PSB file. Just close that, save, and then that's been updated. Now, what you can also do, you can also combine it with text. So you can quickly go say, this is some type. And that can be combined with that smart object as well. Just quickly go to a layer and then smart objects and convert to smart object. And that's all in a single smart object. That can be saved as well as maybe copied over into the libraries and maybe for future use. So you can also, like I say, extend this. You don't have to have just one custom shape. Maybe have 30 or 40 custom shapes inside a single smart object, which can be all sort of like a group, which can be modified in many other ways. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.